Hey guys, in today's video we're going to have a look at these motors from Hobbywing. So this one is more expensive than that one. But is it worth the extra money? In this video we're going to find out. Stay tuned. So guys, in today's video we're going to have a look at these motors from Harbour Wing, and these are the Fusion. So what is this? Well, this is a motor and the ESC combined into one little package. I know, I know, these are on the market for quite a while now, but for me it's a first, you know. Normally I am using an ESC and a motor like this one, but these are sometimes a bit of a struggle to get in a car. And especially with this one which I recently built. So this is the Killer Body Mercury SE, and this thing is truly amazing, only the motor and the ESC to fit it in there is just a pain in the butt in my opinion so now it's time for me to check out these my little motors so for now let me first get everything out of the box so i can show you what's inside there Inside the box of the cheaper one you will get some instructions, a sticker, a zip tie, a piece of velcro and a little extension cord for the cable that goes to your receiver. So this is the more expensive one and I think you will pay around 60 or 80 bucks more for this one. I'm not sure anymore but I will put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. But you will get a lot more. You will get one more zip tie, some stickers and one little cable more. And that's it guys. So that totally makes sense, right? Well, not totally. So let's find out what the difference is. Let's have a look at the build quality first and we're going to start with this one. Why? Well this one is a very surprising one. Because on the pictures this looked a little bit cheapish in my opinion. But now when I have it in my hands this thing really feels solid. So it's all made of one piece of aluminium. We've got a back plate, some cables and of course we've got all the internals inside there. But I'm really surprised about the, yeah, the build quality of this one. Because on the pictures it looked a bit cheapish. But this one you know this is just sublime. And this is just the quality that you're used to, uh, to have from hobby wing and this is just amazing so the build quality is very sturdy also one piece aluminium so we've got a front plate right over there and the back plate and that's all to it so all the cables are just the same uh, or identical to each other so no difference there Besides the build quality, there are some differences in the specifications. So the first thing is the ESC. So this one has got a 40 amp ESC and this one has got a 60 amp ESC. And 60 amps will give you more punch to the wheels instead of the 40 amp. So therefore this is a little bit more expensive. But one other thing which is pretty important are the things that you can program inside this one. So this one has got a more extended programming file which is way better. So the first thing for example, you can choose the running mode in this one. So you can do forward brake reverse or you can do forward and reverse or you can do it forward reverse with throttle mats so that's very useful another thing is the punch so if you throttle up how much punch it will give you uh, yeah when you're starting up and that's for you very important if you have got a lighter or a more heavier car then you want to set that one and we've got one more setting and that is uh, the rpm uh, increase or sorry decrease i must say so when you let down the throttle so how smooth it rolls down or immediately stop and you can probably program that also in this one so that's a very useful thing uh, for now i'm just going to test the, the yeah test the two motors and then i will come back to you with my results
So guys, for the last couple of days I've been testing and comparing those two motors to each other and here are my final thoughts about those. So yeah, uh, comparison wise, there's only one winner in my opinion and that's this one. And let me tell you why. So the first thing is the low modulation. This will give you an even lower modulation than this one. So don't misunderstand me, this is still a very very good motor and I highly recommend this one as well. But this just gave me more control and especially when you're using a little bit more throttle, this was a little bit too jumpy in my opinion uh, yeah compared to this one so therefore i prefer this one another reason are the extended settings inside the esc instead of that one and i really like those settings you know just that you can control the punch to that goes to the motor i really like that especially if you're having a, a yeah a more lighter car or a more heavier car then yeah the punch is very important to have so therefore i really like this motor but still you know this is a pretty good motor especially for the price point you know it's all in one combined it's very small it's very powerful and you'll have a very smooth low modulation but you know if you have a little bit more money i really suggest to buy this one instead all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggested leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye